Hi Collective, this is going to be a reading for all signs, so some of the messages may resonate, the others may not, but this is supposed to be tailored specifically for all of us. Um, I do have my manifestation oils for sale. I have one for platonic and romantic love. Um, also, it helps enhance self-love and relationships that are already established. I have my spiritual and DNA oil, which I'll be using right now. One for protection and one for oil that's um, kind of sold out right now. So I'm in the process of restocking that. So I will be putting on my spiritual DNA oil. All you need is two or three drops. Rub it on your forehead, the back of your neck, wherever you want, and it should work immediately. This helps me with everything, honestly. Like, I don't really have any complaints at all. I'm really grateful to be in the place that I'm in, and I'm going to share this tools that I have with you guys. It's made with crystals, essential oils, herbs, and I charged it with the moon, so it should be ready to go. If you want the info for that, the link is, is in the description box. Also, I do have another channel called Limitless Libra for anyone that has Libra placements. Now, if you just want additional messages, you can go ahead and check that out. The link is below. So yeah, I never use this deck, but I'm being called to. Um, I just kept hearing the system is afraid of you and what you're going to accomplish in this lifetime. When I woke up, that's the first thing that I heard. I wrote that down on my phone, went back to sleep. Look, this is you. Six of Wands. Do you see how people are, these are people bowing to you. They're kind of looking at you as a person who is connected to God. If you look at this woman or man, we don't know what they are because, you know, they have a shield on. They're looking up at the divine and the divine is giving them downloads. So you're somebody who is supposed to be, um, it's like you're God amongst human beings. You just look like a human like everybody else, but you're not. Um, you, some of you haven't really been activated 100% quite yet. I already know I'm in this energy because my job is to activate you guys. As the Six of Wands is here, it's like you're meant to help human beings ascend. There's something that you're going to do. It's going to range differently for a lot of you. I try to help human beings with tarot. I try to help people heal from within. I try to use my oils and expand that out to other people so that I can help you activate yourself and then you can carry on that mission and so forth. So as a collective, the vibration of the planet is increasing, which means the demonic energies and entities, they're starting to become even more irrational and impulsive because the game's already over. We're now in the process of manifesting a new earth. We're in the age of Aquarius. Everyone can see the light. It's like there's no illusions anymore. Everyone that has been sneaky, conniving, stealing from humanity, um, crimes against humanity, whatever government institutions, principalities, um, this may be, everything is crumbling down. It's like the, the regime, Babylon is crumbling. That's all I keep hearing is Babylon is crumbling. All the deception, all the lies, all the trickery, everything that we used to be blindfolded to, it's all changing. And as our perception changes, we increase the vibration of the earth and we also... It, we also end up bringing in a new reality. If you believe in quantum jumping and jumping realities, which I do because I've had proof of it with my own life, you guys are the type of people that could be whistleblowers. Um, your power is the truth, is the, is the fact that you don't let yourself succumb to whatever society is being programmed to. I hear a lot of programming that you guys have been able, able to break, breaking a lot of generational curses. You guys have been put through a lot more pressure, turmoil, trauma, heartbreak, sorrow, um, just obstacles than most people and this is all intentional it's because you're you're meant to be the one that creates diamonds so you know how they say the revolution will not be televised well the, re the revolution is happening right now and it's at a spiritual level it's like people are awakening and it's getting difficult it's getting harder and harder for these people to control us so now they're starting to attack food um freedom in a sense like there's going to be more border restrictions from what i'm seeing or just being able to travel back and forth um coming towards in the future. I've also seen a lot of things that have signified that, you know, the way that the world is going to change is going to be different. The White House was talking about having a digital currency, which was something that was only considered a conspiracy theory like six years ago. These people are telling you right in your faces that we're about to go into a, into a different session. A di they don't want people to wake up. That's what's happening right, right now, though. It's like we're all awakening and we're cre creating a new reality. And you have entities and beings that are trying to stop it in some way, shape, or, fra or fashion. And it's important for you to not fall for people that whisper sweet ears into your nothing. I mean, they whisper sweet nothings into your ear. <laughs> that was weird. And they give you false promises because a lot of people's downfalls is their heart. If you look at this man, he looks like he's conniving and he's deceptive. If you look at his eyes they're bleeding some sort of color so 
he is some sort of demonic being who's trying to play off as like a charmer, a, a man who, we're, we're just going to pretend he's a man for storytelling purposes. This man, he's like a warlock energetically. He goes around breaking women's hearts, um, siphoning their energies, and he goes from one after the other after the other. That's what this person's power is, is that they break people's heart and they leave them in this energy of desolate. And you're the type of person where your your energy signature, it's powerful. Someone can build empires just using you, just using your brain, just using your mind. You're not like most people. And this person, individuals that meet you, people that want to use you for who you are, what you can give, they're going to see that off of you. And how do you know these people are not how do I know they're, they don't have good intentions? Because look at the cup that they're giving you. Why does it have skulls on it? With a little heart and an envelope. That's like, oh yeah. This is the energy of you guys being attached to people that end up being so jealous of you that they want to take you out. And by out, I mean like gone, off the planet. And a lot of people's downfalls ends up being individuals that are around them. Fake friends, fake best friends that set you up. So you have to be aware protect yourself at all times don't put yourself in predicaments where someone would want to swipe you just for no reason and i'm telling you this because i'm someone who's naive i don't even when i look at the world it's all sunshine and rainbows and it's like at times i'm forced to look at the dark side of things that i don't want to look at but this is me telling you if you know that you're reckless and you have a tendency of just trusting people maybe even going to their houses without not really knowing or just being so open and vulnerable with other people be careful because not everyone has good intentions. Some people are willing to sell you out. Especially if there's some sort of um, reward that's at the end of that. With the wheel, you see that? This is the wheel. If you look closely, that's a noose. I don't like that energy. But at the same time, there's certain things that run this planet. Um, yeah, you're somebody who's a, you're a shapeshifter. Whether you know it or not, um, you have your body in... A multitude of realities because I believe there's an infinite amount of reality well in this one the one that you just jumped into you can create anything that you want with your mind and it's like you lead and the other people follow so you could be someone who's always like people copy you or they pick up um your behavioral patterns or they watch you or they stalk you you have it you have a tendency of having stalkers or picking up stalkers or people that just end up being obsessed with you like they want to hold on to you they want to put you in their pocket they want to put you in a box where they can have access to you whenever they want because you're so loving giving nurturing compassionate the queen of cups is someone who they have unconditional love for almost all beings or all things. And it could be even now, like, you're becoming even more sensitive. You're empathizing and, com and having compassion for, like, human beings and the race at even bigger, at an even bigger level than before. And I know this is me because I've been feeling that way where I have to, like, I have to basically block certain things out because it's too painful. Certain things are just too painful for me to tap into because I'm that empathic that even just me watching certain things, I will attract it to myself, which is the whole reason why I don't watch horror movies. I'm not watching Jeffrey Dahmer. I know. If you know, you don't know what you're bringing into your home. You don't know what you're bringing into your home. Yeah. Mhm. Mm that's all I'm going to say. With the Wheel of Fortune, there's going to be major changes that's happening. Good karma. Changes in the form of, like, the world moving forward. So whatever work you've been doing, the fact that you've been healing yourself, your wounds, the trauma that people give you, the fact that you've been trying to give back to the world in any form or fashion. It doesn't even have to be through products. It can be just you being of service to people with your light. Um, being unconditional, unconditionally loving to people that may have not deserved it. You may not think that that even has that value but we're all connected we are all one so everything that we do to ourselves everyone else follows suit it's like you lead the pack so your backs to them look people are behind you some are even in front of you but they know they know that you're the chosen one look they're almost bowing yeah you're somebody who's different whether you know that or not or not yeah the system knows who you are. They know that you're an earth angel, especially if you're somebody who's a whistleblower, who you talk about the truth, especially on social media. Yeah, they're watching all of us. They have a file on all of us, especially the ones who are ascended. And with temperance here, this is all about kundalini rising, kundalini awakening, which may have been triggered, like I said, through painful situations and scenarios where people stab you in the back. If you look at this man, he's running with swords in his hands there's snakes here there's swords left behind this is someone who um is a coward they will run 
this may have happened to you in the past and this is also what you're gonna you're gonna continue to attract because like i said right now this is just the beginning this is like the training ground you haven't even seen how far you're going to come you don't even know the levels of demons that you're going to meet so this is your training ground you're going to meet people that may be even more diabolical even more conniving even more powerful and not just in a financial sense because you know some of you are, are climbing the ranks slowly but surely you're helping yourself you're helping your family you're helping your bloodline um you're elevating you're becoming entrepreneurs you're gaining better jobs you're finding new opportunities if this isn't happening now it will doors are going to be open opening things are shifting you're going to be receiving downloads about how you can create more money um there's going to be a shift where there's going to be power to the people look at this there's one person in the middle standing on top of a whole city this this could even be new york oh my god bro this is crazy some of you have the ability to astral travel especially when you're sleeping where you can, you can change whatever you want out of the timeline. And then you can wake up and be in a completely different timeline. I know this probably sounds like I'm talking out of my butt, but I'm not. Look, there's an entity. An entity that controls the planet. An entity that controls divine beings. The, the awakened ones. The 144,000 who help um, other people ascend. Who help other people heal. Because we're, we're committed to our path. We're committed to our purpose. You may not know exactly what you're supposed to do but you know that you're someone who's special you know that you have a certain place in this world and there, there's a reason why everyone keeps pushing you down there's a reason why the system keeps um creating more blockages especially if you live in areas where it's um lower income low to middle range income it's like you have even more restrictions if you're black if you're watching and you're black you already have more problems than the rest of the race if you look at this queen of cups I'm not even going to bring race into this, but she's black. There's a, there's something about melanin and the type of energy that they try to extract from black people, especially in the core of where this is. This looks like the U.S. to me. Wherever you're watching from the world, this looks like the U.S. So you have to think about where is the source of where the toxic energy is coming from. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's the same thing that's here as well. Yeah, so if you're black, you have to deal with redlining, um, mass incarceration. You have to deal with police brutality. You have to deal with poisoning. Um, the CIA was known to throw weapons and biological warfare, specifically in the ghettos. And this is not me making this up. This is like on Google. You can go and look this up. You're someone who's going to have to deal with a lot of adversity, but you have more protection than the average person. Especially if you're watching my, ta my channel, for the most part, yeah, I, I do get karmics here and there, but they don't stick around for long because they get triggered. But if you're watching, it's because you have a specific mission and this mission is something that's it's going to help human beings and it's going to take you through a lot the journey that you're on it's going to take you through a lot it's going to take you through a lot of isolation feeling pushed out um people choosing others over you you feeling like you know you're you just don't belong in some way and you're going to continuously put time effort and energy into your goals into your dreams you will maintain your faith this is you people trying to keep you bombed and stuck with restrictions and this is you with your sword cutting it out so all you have to do is just cut it out the only way someone can keep you stuck is through your mind is manipulating you to feeling like you don't really have power and that's we are gods within literally that, that that's what it's saying the king of swords to me is god and if you're someone who is yeah i just see a lot of advancement you're like a soldier you're like a warrior and a human beings bodies and not all of us have the same mission and you, if this is the case you know what I'm talking about because with the world you know you're meant to travel you know you're meant to be seen you know you're meant to have a lot of money this money you're gonna use towards philanthropy to give back to humanity in some way shape or form because there's an obvious um, there's an obvious injustice with the gap in wealth and it's like the rich just keeps getting richer the poor just keeps getting poorer and that's not gonna last for long the next five months by January of 2023, there's going to be situations which which is going to cause principalities to crumble. It's going to cost them a lot of money. This is like disasters, hurricanes that are going to cause um, the systems to have to cough up money that they were already stealing from the people. Some pe Sometimes individuals don't think about it like that. When hurricanes strike, it's almost like nature's way of trying to fight its way back to whatever is being created because they don't want all this um, destruction and mess. Look, King of Cups, and that's water can't make this up oh my god yeah so you guys are meant to travel you're meant to be seen you have a specific dream or goal in mind that is going to get you far so don't doubt yourself ever because other people are trying to get you to doubt yourself 
because that's how they succeed. If you can doubt yourself, if the devil can get you to just think that you're worthless, that you don't deserve love, you don't deserve anything good in your life, and then that's the frequency you're going to put out, and that's what you're going to continuously attract. You have to believe. Believe in yourself and that energy. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Pour into you, and whatever you have access, that's what you give to other people, not the other way around. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to prove that you're deserving of love. You are. Everybody is. And it's just some people are tapped into that and others are not. But we have Ten of Cups. Some of you come from a lot of like broken relationships, divorce, broken families. This is the Ten of Cups, which is supposed to be a father, mother, and a child. However, in reverse, there's some sort of issues that may have gone on that caused sudden endings, shocking, unexpected um, situations that you had to overcome. But if you look at this tower, look. There's a person. This person is being initiated. They're going through a million initiations. This is like you not seeing what actually controls our planet. Like it's not just what you see with your with your 3D eyes. There's a lot more going on that you can't. They're basically just trying to. The system tries to make you believe that you have to pray. I mean to some unseen God for what it is that you want. And ultimately, what this is saying is that, yes, you do have your guides, your ancestors, the people that watch over you, but you're the powerful one. You're the one that has to create the changes within yourself. There's no one coming to save us. It's literally us. We are the ones that are here to um, ascend. Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are going to face a lot of injustice. But the things that you faced that have brought you here, that's, that's the worst that it could be. Because now you have discernment. Look. Nine of Cups, this woman, she's happy, wishes fulfilled, content, comfortable. So everything that you had to go through from childhood up until now, that's the worst that it could possibly be. Moving forward, it's like it's like cornucopia, literally. That's what I'm just feeling. Look, if you look behind, I think that's Jesus. This is a sacrificial lamb. This is the person that keeps getting shot over and over and over and over and over and over through their hands, through their arms, they're beat up, they're, ooh, and they, this person's still standing, look, with even more courage than before, it doesn't matter how many times people try to knock you down, you're going to get back up regardless because you have the power of God within you, this is what they don't want you to see, I had so many distractions before this video and that's when I was like, yeah, I have to put this message out, look, this is who you're fighting, look, you're fighting death. Whatever energies that control this planet, it's like old, ancient, like, this is like old, ancient magic. This is beings that don't really die. They just reincarnate into other bodies, like Queen Elizabeth. Things of that nature, like, ooh, this is what you're fighting against. You're fighting against the system. You're fighting against the things that keep humanity stuck. And you're doing this with just your mind. Like, this is how powerful you are. This is what they don't want you to know. This is why they keep putting more um, foods with poison chemtrails inflation like just eating food is so expensive now and it's gonna get worse it's gonna get worse until the people revolt until the people um take back their power until you stop yeah revolution i feel revolution energy and with justice because there's we're, we're getting look she's holding on to a brain that's why i was saying it's your mind that's so crazy oh my god look the parallel person your mind and your heart this is what creates your um, your reality. So if you can feel like you're just completely hopeless, if you can feel like, you know, free, there's no, I want to say this, like there's no such thing as free will. It's whatever you're creating with your mind. It's whatever you believe, honestly. We, we have the power to change things, but you have to believe that. Um, I also see like you guys have faced situations where you've been like gang stalked, teamed up on by multiple people. Yeah. All these people, anyone who crosses you, it's like you're brought into someone's life as a test. If they treat you with decency and respect and, you know, they honor you, they don't mistreat you, they elevate and they get blessed over and over and over again. Um, because this truly shows that these people that you encounter, they can see your heart. They can see that the fact that you're very pure and that you don't have ill intentions. But the people that do you wrong, oh boy, they get instant karma. Instant karma, bro. You, you want me to tell you? Um, there's a video. When my first fight ended up on YouTube. And it was because of how crazy it was. And I'm, I'm going to put the link in the comment section or in the descri description box if you want to see it. Because it was me by myself with two of my friends. 
versus like 40 people I kid you not and I had to fight this girl and she was a bully she was a senior I was a junior and she was known to beat chicks up put it on video and what's up so she tried to do the same thing to me not knowing I was a divine being first of all I beat her up with, with like so many stupid combos the second part her sister tried to jump in yeah it was just madness you want to see that it's in the description box below this is just a sign to show you whoever tries to cross you it doesn't matter if you're outnumbered it doesn't matter if um people don't believe in you it does not matter because you are protected beyond levels you're yeah the empress most of you watching are females i do have males watching so if instead of the empress this would be the emperor you're the person that brings oneness into the universe it's like there's 144,000 of us that basically help ascend human beings because other people are asleep. It's our job to kind of wake them up to the fact that they're the ones in power. Like, we're the ones that are in control. We outnumber the top 1%. We outnumber the, the people that are in control of the planet. So people don't know that, though. It's If you're made to feel like you're worthless or, you know, you can only do so much with your life, if you're made to feel like your dreams can't come true, if your hope is squashed on a daily basis if you're constantly being fed with programming and you know negativity from music to the things that you're watching on netflix then you don't have time to look within and to see how we are one we're the ones that are in control and this is what it's saying this is the time to work work on your goals work on your dreams rest know how to rest know how to take um a time out when you need to if you feel like you're burnt out don't give up just stop for a second, come back to it when you feel better. You guys have a tendency of kind of overworking yourself or feeling like you constantly have to be on the go or whatever this dream is, like it needs to happen now, but this is like a journey. Between now until the end of your time, you're going to see a, new, a different version of the planet. This is going to be cornucopia. I just keep hearing that. So with the Seven of Cups, despite how things look right now, as long as you don't fall for illusions, you will have control over your heart space. So if you've been feeling like, man, all all people ever do is just hurt me and backstab me and I'm just open towards them, then there's something that you need to shift within yourself and how you're allowing people to approach you so that you can't get hurt. It's a lesson for you as well. So let's take a look and see. What do you guys need to know? We have four swords. The moon, yeah, in the next four years, things are gonna change for the planet. These people that have been in control, controlling whole cities, controlling countries, mm, destruction, chaos, drama, and changes in the planet with the world. And that change is going to start off right off with the United States. And yeah, that's North America. That's North America right here south. So the changes is going to stem from North America. So most of us watching from this channel... Um, we do have some in Europe, and we do have some in Africa too as well, but I feel like the majority of us are in the North, and the fact that we're all connected to each other and we've been healing and ascending, it's doing something to the vibration of the planet. It's creating changes, and we're supposed to continue on this path. So you have a choice to make. You can choose the path that's hard and descend, or you can choose the path that's hard and ascend. So the choice is yours, really. You already have so many burdens on your back. Whatever these burdens are, most of it is not yours. So learn to only carry your own burdens. And my patio door just opened, and that's weird. So, yeah. We definitely have a lot of things that are in control, but you're protected through it all. So it doesn't matter who tries to cross you, because at the end of the day, they end up paying for it. Especially if it's something that's unjustified to you. If you did have people team up against you, you're going to hear a lot of apologies. You not only will be leveling up, being independent, focusing on yourself with the Nine of Pentacles, but you're also going to be focusing on the things that make you passionate, focusing on your hobbies, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, because the possibilities for you are endless. You can do whatever you want. I can do whatever I want. If I wanted to get up right now and go leave the country, like I could do that. Literally, all I'd have to do is just buy out of my lease and pick up and leave. You could do whatever you want. If you may tell yourself, oh, I can't because of this, this, that, this, and that. But that's really just excuses that we make for ourselves. Because from what I'm seeing, you are the warrior. Whether you know it or not, you're not just fighting a physical battle. You're fighting a spiritual one as well. And with this, you see how this is people? You have people teaming up with you. You're not alone. Yes, it may seem like you're alone. It may seem like you're the only one in your surroundings that even knows what the hell is going on at times. But that's not the case because there's... 
there's a lot of us and we're fighting against the principality this is a building this is like a stone building that's been here for a while which represents like municipals principalities government systems and we're fighting them with our mind and our hearts and that may seem crazy but this is this is what yeah it's what they want me to tell you is that you're extremely powerful so you have way more obstacles and issues and trauma that you've had to overcome and addictions than most people but it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't have to be as difficult as it was in the past because that timeline has ended you've jumped into a completely brand new one look page of cups look the chosen one literally your mind sometimes you have to learn to protect your crown because sometimes like your energy you're just so tapped in you see everything as it is you've been this way since you were a child you look there's people behind you literally bowing to you because you're meant to help human beings ascend you're somebody ooh, like it's scary i have chills like that's how powerful you are i have chills i would not i would not step up i would not mess with you or your kids if i knew better i wouldn't do that and i feel like your ancestors they've been watching you as you have been ascending through this whole look they've been giving you downloads through a plug you're plugged into the source direct source and channeling some of you need to have a podcast you need to have something where you're speaking public speaking um philanthropy work i'm feeling yeah you are the birth to so many solutions to the world like it's like you're a library within yourself. You're the Akashic Records. Literally, you're tapped into the Akashic Records because that's what you are. All you have to do is unlock it within yourself. And it's going to take time. It happens in cycles. It's not going to happen overnight. You do have to go through certain initiations. You do have to go through certain trials and tribulations. It's not going to be easy. You do not find growth and comfortability. It has to be adversity in some way. Look at this. Obedience. Justice. Look. You're the obedient one. You come here with the sword, not just the sword, but with the scale. So you get put into awful situations at times because you're what brings the justice into those situations. For one, um, I had the situation where CPS tried to basically like snatch my son for no reason. And I kid you not, because the hospital, whatever they were doing to me was unjustified. Not only did that um, hospital unit get whistleblowed, but so did the system all together because those people that were working my case they all got fired and that's just what it goes to show like who like they had been doing that to a multitude of people and they just happened to do it to the wrong one that time and it, it ended up blowing their whole operation and that's what's saying don't forget don't forget don't forget who you are yes things that you get put into suck certain situations that you get put into it's unjustified it's like you're almost like double teamed you're tag teamed in, in some way and it's because they want to keep you trapped but remember you have a choice. Choices. You can either go left or you can either go right. Everyone has a choice. You can either choose the dark side or you can choose the light side. You chose the light because look, you're looking towards the left. And this is why um, you're receiving these brand new opportunities. Like you can create any changes that you truly want. You're so powerful. You could, either, you could end up prime minister, UN ambassador. But the only way you can do that is if you see through the deceit because this will be your downfall. People that smell in your face talk mess behind your back and they're like low-key assassins or their honesty they don't have any honesty these are people that are just deceitful they want your power they want to be who you are they want your energy signature they want your accolades they want your life they want to be you they want to put your skin on and yeah jealousy and greed and envy can get people to do disgusting things so when you notice that someone doesn't like you in your circle when you notice those um sneak disses yeah Pay attention to that because that's always, if you ever pay attention to any stars, for the most part, their downfall is the people that's around them. It's usually never themselves unless, you know, it's special circumstances. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing. You're very powerful. You're extremely powerful. You don't even know who you're going to be. I'm telling you. For example, Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny was like just a normal person um a year ago now he's like one of the most world-renowned stars i don't know why i used him as an example but that just goes to show just because you're where you're at right now you do know you do not know where you're going to be a year from now three months from now five months from now be believe in miracles believe believe and know that things can change as long as you are willing to put in the work and that's what i'm seeing bye